Team USA topped Canada 3-2 in a shootout win for its first Olympic gold in women's hockey since 1998. Now joining me are a few of the women who made that possible. We've got Maddie Rooney, Hillary Knight, Megan Duggan, and Jocelyn and Monique Lamoureux. Ladies, first of all, thank you for joining us today. I'm sure you guys have had quite the wild ride since returning to the States, but USA Canada quickly becoming an instant classic. In history, it's kind of gone more Canada's way. What made this one different? It was the right group. We talked about it all along. It was a really special team. Um, obviously, you know, we've come up short of our ultimate goal of a gold medal in the last couple of Olympics, but uh, we've worked really hard since, um, you know, 2014. We've um, just built an incredible culture and a great team, and uh, we were ready for this one, and it was the right group. Now, this one came down to a shootout. Do you guys practice shootout moves? Like, is there a part of practice that goes to that, or how does that work? Recently, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's got to be tough thing. for you, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah usually, um, depending on, like, a lot of us on our college teams, usually it's, like, a weekly thing. And then when we were at, we hadn't been really practicing them. And then at the Olympics, we had done two or three uh, throughout the three weeks. So, so good thing you nice did, right? in a couple of us. How do you guys keep calm in an atmosphere like that when there's so much pressure and it's kind of a, a different vibe than in a, a normal period of a game? We're just, we're, we're a fun group. I mean, we, we have so much respect for one another and each person has their own responsibility and duty to the team that, you know, the person to the right or the person to the left is going to get the job done. And with that, you just kind of let the game unfold how it may. And we've got some sharpshooters back here, some <laughs> ultimate, you know, backstopping in the goal. In, in the goal. But, um, you know, it's a powerful group, as Megan said. We're calm, collected, composed, but we also like to have a lot of fun. Now, outside of the obvious of winning a gold medal, what is the fondest memory? from this experience? I think every day brings something new and special, but we're at the Capitals uh, Stadium Series game at the Naval Academy, so there's a lot of proud Americans that were there. There's uh, a lot of the Naval cadets, and so it's moments like that that just make all this so special. The amount of support we've been getting the last two weeks has just been unbelievable. Now, as a team, did you guys have any pregame rituals or any kind of traditions <laughs> that you would do? I can see the last. There's something. You've got some things, <laughs> right? Yeah. Maddie has about 20 of them. Yeah. What are your superstitions? A couple would be like I've worn the same headband since I was 12. Do um, you wash it? Of course. <laughs> wash. Yes, wash. It's a fair question. <laughs> Uh, left pad, left skate, left sock on first, I have to juggle racquetballs a certain amount of times, same playlist, a bunch of them. I mean, if it's not broke, you don't fix it. Like, <laughs> this seems to be working out pretty well for you, too. Now, Hillary, you were on SNL recently, repping yeah. the team, and, uh, you know, there was a sketch on SNL a while ago with Chance the Rapper kind of poking fun at the sport of hockey and, you know, how some Americans don't fully understand it. How do you think that um, the sport can grow in the U.S.? I think that's one of our, our greatest challenges right now is really capitalizing on the platform that we've built through bringing awareness from our gold medal, but also connecting the audience and the viewers with an amazing product of ice hockey and specifically women's hockey. Um, I think right now the country is just hungry for proud, um, strong females, and we are those strong females. Um, so being able to raise our platform collectively, have our voice, but also connect the viewer with some amazing sports and ice hockey specifically. Yeah, and you guys have definitely shown the <laughs> high standard of ice hockey. And now, also, you know, mentioning, uh, you know, creating a platform for something. Last year, the team boycotted the IIHF to receive equal treatment and pay to the men and won that too. What's the next big step or big win for women's hockey in America? I would say just continuing that conversation, um, you know, and, and making sure that we're continuing to push forward and, and fight for, um, you know, equitable support and, and treatment of, of women. Um, it got to the point in our program where we just, we knew something needed to change and, and that was the crucial next step that we had to make. And while it was difficult for us and risky and scary, um, we did it as a group together. And I know it's probably one of the proudest um, moments for us um, was being able to you know, unite through that and stick through it and see it out. But um, definitely continuing the conversation in the future, in sport, out of sport, um, you know, and really continuing to pave the way for young girls and that, that next generation is something that's really important to us. Ladies, thank you so much for taking the time and for the wonderful example that you are setting for all women of all ages. And I'm sure your necks are pr pretty sore from those gold <laughs> yeah. medals, but they look great and uh, well-deserved. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.